This tutorial focuses on the new Income Tracker feature in QuickBooks 2014. In the past, users needed to run many reports or view different sections of QuickBooks to see all of the information that can now be easily accessed in the Income Tracker. QuickBooks users now have a central hub to efficiently manage business income and customer-related transactions and activities. After completing this tutorial, you will be able to locate the Income Tracker and describe how customers can utilize its features to manage income-related activities. For this demonstration, I'll start at the home page. There are three different access points to the Income Tracker from the home page. There is an Income Tracker option in the icon bar. The Income Tracker can also be opened from the Customer drop-down menu. And there is now an Income Tracker option located in the top of the Customer Center. I'll click the Income Tracker icon located in the top of the Customer Center. This will open the Income Tracker. The Income Tracker breaks down the customer-related workflow into three different sections with color codes to easily differentiate the type and status of the transaction. The Unbuild section allows users to quickly filter the Income Tracker to display estimates or sales orders. I'll click on the dark blue button under the Unbuild section. A list of estimates will be displayed. The Unbuild section will enable users to get a quick snapshot of income from pending work or sales so that they can plan accordingly. I'll click the Customer Column heading to resort the Customer Column in descending order. I'll click on the estimate on the list for Pretel Real Estate. I'll click the Action drop-down field. Customers will be able to convert estimates to sales orders or invoices, mark estimates inactive, and even print or email the estimates. The Unpaid section is a quick snapshot for users to view income that has been invoiced but has not been paid. Users will be able to easily distinguish between invoices that are current and invoices that are overdue. This will give users a clear picture of payments that are owed to them. I'll click the orange button under the Unpaid section, Open Invoices. A list of open invoices is displayed. I'll click on the first invoice showing for Vitten David, Remodel Kitchen, $700. I'll click the Action drop-down. Using the Action drop-down, customers will be able to receive payments, print, and email open invoices. I'll click the green button under the Paid section. This enables users to view payments received in the last 30 days. Users can also quickly view cash that has recently been received by the business. I'll click on the Clear Show All button in the top right. This will return the Income Tracker to the default view. Customers can also print transactions and batches from the Income Tracker. I'll put a check mark in the first three checkboxes. I'll check the Batch Actions button. Note that I have the option to print selected invoices, sales orders, sales receipts, and credit memos. I'll click the Manage Transactions button. Note the Create New option that enables me to create different transactions and edit a highlighted row. This will allow users to easily edit any transaction that is highlighted in the Income Tracker. Users can easily filter transactions using the drop-downs in the top of the transaction list, including Customer, Job, Type, Status, and Date. Recall that this same functionality is available in the Customer Center. This completes the tutorial. You're encouraged to navigate through the Income Tracker on your own. If you get stuck, Watch this tutorial again and then try again on your own. Thanks for watching.